Hi, this is Wes Pitzer from Highway Marketing. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the Allen & Heath ME system using this ME1 here that I have hooked directly to the built-in ME port on a DLive system. But this should work for your SQ, for your Avantis. Everything is going to be the same setup. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is. So here we go. Okay, as you can see here, uh, I have my ME1 set up. It's plugged into my DLive system. Remember, this will work with any of the Allen and Heath consoles. Um, and uh, good news is that it will auto-populate whatever you've named those 40 channels uh, on your console. It'll auto-populate those as the channel names for here. So it's very time-saving. Now, uh, this just out of the box just pulls your individual channels. So what I want to do is I want to set this up uh, with groups. That's how you get your 40 channels. Now for me personally, uh, I'm going to set up a drum group, a bass group, a keys group. I'm a guitar player, so I might also have a guitar group and have my guitar and my vocals separate uh, on buttons so I can interact with it quickly. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to set up a group very quickly. You'll notice there's a shift button here and across the top are what that shift button does with those buttons. You have store preset, you have menu, standby, etc. Now what I want to do is I want to go into the menu. So I'm going to hold down the shift button and I'm going to push this button here that has menu across the top. And you'll notice you have a few different things that you can do in your menu. But what we want to do is we want to set up a key. So it's key setup. This is a touch and turn knob. Uh, so this is how you select things or turn to, uh, to move about in the menu. So I'm going to select that. And now it says press any key. Uh, for me personally, drums are going to come first. So I'm going to put those on number one. Now you'll notice I have a few different options here. Uh, we have source, name, preset, etc. Uh, my source right now is just number one, which is named kick coming into here. So you could change that if you wanted to, but what I want to do is I want to set up a group. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select group. Now I want to change the name of that group. So I'm going to go in here and set up a custom name and I want to change that to drums. So we will change that to drums. just like that. You notice the master is blinking to let you know it says exit menu over there and that's how you exit out of the menu. Now I want to add members to that group so I'm going to go in and select kick, snare, tom1, tom2, and room. Those are all the things that I have on that stream that are drum related. So now I come out of here you'll notice I have five members. Uh, it's called drums and it's a group. So I exit completely out of here. So when I select this, you'll see that the group button lights up and it's called drums and I have a master level for that group. Now, uh, one of the things that confuses a lot of people is when they first set up a group, then they come to this point and they say, well, I can't hear anything. Uh, it didn't set up properly. Remember, the way that the ME system is set up is when you set up a group and you go in to submix that group, all of the levels are set at zero uh, right off the bat, and that's to save your hearing. So what you want to do after you set up your group is select your group and go in and submix, submix each one of the channels here. Uh, now you'll notice here's all my channels. If I select that channel, I have volume control, and if I push down and hold down, I also have pan control there. So what I want to do is I want to set my levels each individually for the things that I have in that group. And let's say, oh, I want to pan that over here. Bring up Tom 2, pan it over there. And put a little bit of the room noise in there. Now that I've got that, I can tap and I have overall volume for that individual group. Very simple. Next, I want to set up a bass group, and I'm going to show you one of the other things that confu confuses people sometimes. So I'm going to hold down the shift button and go into my menu, key setup, number two. I want to make that a group, and I want to call that group bass. Okay, now let's go to the members. Now you'll probably notice here that these are a different color and that's because kick, snare, 
Tom 1, Tom 2, and Room are already in a different group and can't be added to this group that I'm on now. Uh, important to remember, if you add as a member a channel, it cannot be in another group. It can be on its own. You can use that. Uh, so you could have, in my case, a guitar group that contains my guitar, and I can put my guitar on a separate button. But you cannot have two of the same member in two different, you cannot have the same member in two different groups. So, uh, and if you try to select it, it won't let you select them. So I'm gonna put my two bass channels into my bass group come completely out. There's my base group. Go in, set my individual volumes for this group. And now I have my drums in my bass setup. Okay, lastly, uh, I've set up all my buttons and now I want to show you what one of the last things that, that I get asked quite a bit about how to set these things up, how do I save my configuration? Now, there's two ways you can save your configuration. You can save it to the unit itself, or you can save it to the USB. Uh, and, or you might want to do both. Uh, a, a good reason to save to a USB is A, no matter what happens, you'll always have a backup, always a good idea. Uh, and B, if you have a lot to set up right off the bat, set up one as kind of a starting point for everyone in the band, uh, then save it to USB stick and just go to each individual one, recall it, you don't have to go through that whole setup. So I've got all my buttons set up the way that I want them to be uh, with my groups and independent uh, channels. So now I want to save this as a setup. Now you'll notice there's a store preset right here. Uh, so again, you hold down the shift button and hit store preset. Now you notice with a USB stick in there, you have the option to save to USB or you can press a key to save it to the ME unit itself. I'm gonna start by saving it to a USB. So since it's already on there, I'm going to select that and then press again to store. Now you'll notice I already named this Queen, but if you wanted to edit the name, you would simply go here and go through and edit the name. But I'm going to store that to USB by pushing that button, and now it's stored to the USB. If I wanted to store it to the unit, I would simply press one of these keys. So I could take, for example, this key here. It says press again to store Queen. Uh, again, I could edit the name by selecting it uh, but I'm going to go ahead and store that here. Now, when I go to recall, I have the option of recalling if there's a USB stick in there. Uh, recall Queen, which is what I just stored to there. If there was more than one, you could select from whichever one you wanted, or I can press a key. So I can press uh, go from the USB and press again to recall. And now that's recalled it here. Uh, and then I can also press a key, press again to recall and that's recalled it here. So nice, easy, quick way uh, to have multiple setups available, uh, to be able to back up setups or to set up a large amount uh, while uh, only having to set up one unit, save it to USB stick and then go and recall it on each individual ME unit. Well, there you have it. That's how you set up the Allen & Heath ME system. Make sure and hit the like button down below, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.